It's that time of year again. Cottontail rabbits are out of their holes and ready to mate. All you have to do is find where their escape routes are. Trapping is an extremely important part of survival and it's entirely possible that you could find yourself uh, lost in the woods wondering what your next meal is gonna be. All right, your next steps are to look for low bushes where rabbits like to hang out uh, or drainage areas where water has come through and there's a tr significant trail through there. And once you found the bushes, you're gonna look for trails. We actually found this trail by watching a rabbit run down into here. And as you can see, if you walk down here, there's, there's some scat right here. A little bit hard to see. And if you move over here, you can see there's a nice trail down in there going straight through there. Start by finding some wire, probably about this thick. And we chose a natural color, like green. You can choose brown, black, even worse. It, it really doesn't matter. But if you want a better chance, just use some natural color wire. And what you're gonna do is cut off a decent amount about like this with some pliers or your knife. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is make a tiny loop. And make sure that is good because if it's not, the rabbit's gonna get loose. See that little hole or a loop? All right, and now you're gonna take the other end, just like this, put it through that loop. And just like that, you have a snare, which is really easy. And what'll happen is the rabbit, you're gonna set it up and disguise it. And the rabbit will come down its trail and it'll step into this and either its neck or its foot will get caught in this and it won't be able to get out because it'll keep struggling. Once you've got your snare made, go ahead and tie it to a make an alive branch. Make sure it's alive so it doesn't break off when the rabbit tries to get away. And wrap that around that. Make sure it's really tight and good so the rabbit can't get away. And then um, once that's you have it situated on the trail, make sure the rabbit can go no other way but where your snare is. So you want to put sticks underneath and to the side into the ground make every other way possible closed unless it's through your snare you want that rabbit to go right through your snare if you're going to be setting snares it really helps to have rain or snow to see the tracks where the rabbits are going see if the rabbits are going around your snare or somehow missing it or going through and your trap is not working so it really helps to have snow As you can see, there's trails all over here, and this is a really good habitat for rabbits. Lots of bushes and hiding spots. Some tracks right there. And just look in here. Once you've set a couple traps, you're good to go. Wait a couple days and check back. I would check back in 24 hours to make sure. Yeah, like this, you can see they're all over here. All it takes is time and patience. Just keep in mind, it will take a couple of days for your scent to fade. You can use scent control, like scent killer, but uh, we don't use that. And of course, you're not going to have that in the wild. So, um, good luck on your trapping. Happy trapping. Um, this is good at practice. You never know when you're going to be in this situation. And we'll see you in the next video.